Today I'm going to talk about yet another add-on feature that comes up with Pixel. Let's get started. So now I'm going to the insert menu and then if you see there is an add-on button available in the ribbon panel. If you don't find this, you can enable this either through the file menu options or even you can right click and add it. Okay. So I have already added some of the existing add-ons. So how to add them is go to the store and there are a lot of add-ons that comes up as a free plugins which you can add to your spreadsheet there are some which may require additional purchase so you may have to pay and use the feature like this okay so i have taken one which is called people graph so let me add it to the spreadsheet so if you look at the description, what they say is this transfers the data into a code picture. What it means, let us see. To any add-on that you add, first it places the component to the sheet and based on the data you can manipulate the chart and then position. There are a lot of features available for you so if you see this is the default loading screen now I have some sample data added already so this is for my monthly utilization of my expenditure so I have food and beverages which is $150 and my utility bills are around $250 Entertainment is fifty dollars. Okay, so if you see here, you will have the data option, and then there is one another field called settings. So I'm just going to show you first what the settings means. The so settings is something like the kind of themes that you can apply to your the tool or the add-in feature. So the default one what we are seeing in the screen right now is the first one. If I have to transfer to this yellow and black or to the blue ones then I can select this theme. Let me just change it to the yellow background and then black icons and I can even pick the persons that are shown here so say for example if I have taken this this automatically comes up with its own background okay. and the shape so if you want to change the shape according to your need so in my case this is more of a expenditure right so I will go for the bag of colors and coming back to the data I need to select the data right so so here is the sample data that they have shown the similar data I have selected and it is automatically showing that I have selected four rows and two columns. Now I am going to create my chart. You could see right the $150 spent for food and beverages, $250 for my utilities, and $50 for my entertainment expenses. Now I am 
going to change the title Spencers. that's a very cool feature this will allow you to represent the data in a tutorial format or a graph format and you can position them over your data so that you only see the graphs if you want to build some dashboard kind of stuff for your purpose if you mouse over you will be able to pick the corner if you want to resize it or keep it in, within your visible area you can do this so in one of my previous session I have shown you the E2 D3 how to create an inter interactive graph so this is one of such a feature and I, I hope we also looked at the network visualization or flow protocol these are some of the add-ins that I have added to my add-in store and then I'm using it for my regular usage if you are interested you can refer this and go to the store most of these components are built by third parties and there are a couple of them from Microsoft itself so which you don't need to build it from scratch you can go and pick from different categories like for CRM activities you can go and pick the available ones and if you are more interested in the data analytics then you can go and pick this one and if you are looking something for an educational purpose it will automatically help you to add some of these available components Project management is very useful tool for maintaining your projects and some of the features that are very useful when you want to track your projects and produce visual representation. But there are cost attached to it. So these are some of the options I have shown you but you can go and explore here and then pick the one suitable for your need. I hope you would have enjoyed this lecture today. If you have any questions please feel free to add it to the comments. I would be very much happy to respond to your queries. By the way if you have not subscribed to my channel Please don't forget to subscribe to Super Learning Channel. You will get weekly videos and you can keep learning. Please share it with your friends so that they also get benefit out of it. Thank you. Give a big thumbs up. Don't forget. Cheers. Bye.